<laughs> that fool. Ah, so you finally made it. You think I wouldn't pass up an opportunity to kick your ass? Quite the opposite, my friend. I knew you wouldn't be able to resist. Quit your yapping, pal. Let's get to it. <sighs> if you insist. You really think you stand a chance? <laughs> Do you? Now this'll be interesting. Let's see what you can do. To be continued. Oh. This episode is sponsored by Fanboy Hooters. Call 833-1919 now to reserve a table. Yeah, I'm kinda hungry. Hello, this is Fanboy Hooters. Uh, sorry, all of our tables are full right now. We're God incredibly damn busy. It. Damn, I really wish I could have seen how that fight ended. Making my way up through Route 6, I run into Sharon who brings me into this science lab. Did I accept the gift dearling? No, that mon is dog shit. Instead, I just take surf from Sharon. However, my current dilemma is that I am lacking in the water type department. While I do have my water monkey P. Diddy, uh, I, he's trash, I'm not using him. Instead, I decide to head back into Clay Tunnel. Now I know the caves around this area all start to connect, so by exploring Clay Tunnel, I end up in Mistralton Cave. After what Mr. Weed did to the trainers that got in my way within these caves, he now has a warrant out for his arrest. However, I don't need to explore Mistralton Cave just yet because what I'm after is really in Clay Tunnel. Because I picked up a prism scale earlier in the desert routes, I figured why not use a Milotic? After all, I never get to use them in the vanilla games. Sorry, I'm dyslexic. I meant to say Feebas. Eventually though, I do find an exit from Estrelton that leads me back to Route 6. There's no way I was intended to come this way because I trigger a cutscene from the opposite side of the bridge. Cobra! <laughs> I make sure to evolve my beautiful beef ass into an even more beautiful beef ass, and I head to the end of Route 6. Steven just needs me to remind him why he's a little bitch. Steven, I'm gonna let you know right now, man, if you lose this battle, it's embarrassing because I only brought four mons. Charizard can just dish out a Fire Lash, tank a Boom Burst, and then finish off the Swallow with a second Fire Lash. Embor comes out and, silly me, I go for an Air Slash while forgetting that Embor is not a fighting type in this game. And because Charizard is not a flying type, I am dead. It's a good opportunity to let my Lotic get some battling in. One Surf is more than enough to kill the Embor. Really, Steven? An electric? Not even an Electros? Okay. Hitting this thing with a Surf is going to do quite a lot of damage, however, it's not enough to take out the electric. It hits me back with a Wild Charge, however, this thing sucks ass and it doesn't really do too much. Get out of here! Now Flygon comes in and once again there's a type change because Flygon is no longer a ground type, rather it is Bug and Dragon. So, going for a Surf, I thought I'd do a good amount of damage, however, it now resists the water move. And of course, the Flygon decides it wants to set up a Dragon. Dragon Dance. Sorry, my low tick, you just kinda have to die. Just gotta bring in the goat to do goat things. Now, this Flygon resists everything I have, but Verloom is just kinda different with Technician, so I somehow just tank a Life Orb Dragon Claw, and a Force Palm is able to paralyze the Flygon. Just like an overweight girl on Tinder, Verloom is now gonna swipe left. Last is the Starmie, and unlucky for me, it just outspeeds Verloom. Don't worry, because lore-accurate O.J. Simpson is going to commit first-degree murder on this Starmie with a blade. See you later, pussy. I think Charge Stone Cave is pretty fun, and I guess Bianca thinks the same way that I do. I do enjoy pushing the rocks around. Whee! Of course, there's really nothing important going on in this cave, just a bunch of optional trainers. Hi, I'm the Nugget Man. And I'm the Nugget Boy. Thank you. Nugget about it. That's right, guys. The only thing noteworthy that happened in this cave was an NPC saying Nugget about it. But who really cares because we made it to Mistralton. I run into the professor and after she raids my Pokedex, she gifts me a Master Ball. But I can't go into the gym just yet, so it looks like I have to keep pressing forward. However, I still do want to add a few more members to the team. The first one is this Fampy because honestly, I've been using Fampy and Donphan a lot in ROM hacks recently and... 
it kind of goes hard. So it's time to bring the pain train. Now I did a little thinking and I came to the conclusion that Victini, I really don't care about. Plus they're just really overpowered. So here's my solution. By combining the grass type of Meganium, the flying type of Braviary and the mythical status of Victini, I offer this blood sacrifice. Everybody say hello to Flashbang. At the end of the day, not only is Victini overpowered, but I never get to actually play with Shaman and I can only get them in the post game. Yeah, fuck that. I want them now. Stop looking at me like that. I'm not battling you. Now, my team is still not complete because after looking at the types that I have, I am definitely lacking in the electric department in terms of some resistances and offensive type coverage. Sadly, there aren't a lot of electric types or really just Pokemon that meet my type coverage needs in general. Um, I decided to catch a horse. But now that I have all the team members that I need for the time being, it's time to keep going. I'm always a fan of checking the houses. I know triple battles are kind of hit or miss. Some people like them, some people hate them, but I gotta say I'm having fun with them. Wow, cool tower. Anyways, I really have no desire just to fight a gauntlet of optional trainers. Ooh, a house. What's up? Hey kid, you like big hot men? Uh, yeah, I guess you could say that. All right, all right. Look at this guy. Yeah, he's 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 definitely a big hot man. <laughs> Uh, 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 what about this guy? Yeah, that's a that's a big hot man. Is are, are you going somewhere with this? Wait, or... wait, wait, wait. There's one more, one more, one more. Please look, please look. Do you just keep pictures of big muscular men to show to passing by strangers? Uh, maybe. Wait, look at this one. I'm gonna go. Hold on, guys. I'm getting a phone call. Why so serious? <laughs> Well, we made it to the end of the route. Ooh, two old men. My aura must be really strong if these Team Plasma members are gonna mention it every single time. Meh, meh. Oh my god, did they just set off a bomb? Oh shit, looks like I'm getting in the middle of a turf war. Steven, is that you? Who the fuck is that? I don't know who this guy is, but he does have a point. Oh, they're gonna get away. Damn, looks like they got away. Well, thanks for your help, chill guy. Why am I question marking? Oh, dude, this guy sucks. Blah, 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 blah. Come. Come. I have yet to battle this guy and it not be just a clean sweep. Did you at least evolve your Magneton or something? What is empty? What the fuck is that? Is this thing just gonna be like rockin' dark or stealin' dark? I don't know. Oh, perfect, a red card. It's setting up stealth rocks? Dude, fuck you. No, I'm just gonna keep pressing surf. Hmm. Why do you have whirlwind? All right, welcome back, Metacham. Oh, thank God this thing outspeeds me. Don't flinch, don't flinch. Okay. What the fuck is UFO? What is this shit? Uh, of, of course it knows Aero Blast. Why, why wouldn't it, you know? All right, whatever, fuck him up, horse. Well, I'm already faster, so I guess the flame charge wasn't necessary. What, what do you even do to me here? Psychic? Dude. Okay. <laughs> the drop, yay! Whoa, 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 whoa. Get back here, pussy. Why do you have another one? Actually, actually, wait, wait, I'm cooking, I'm cooking. I Volt Switch out, I break his air balloon. Surely he just dies to a ground move if he has an air balloon, right? Don't give a shit about a meteor mash. Uh, burn in hell? Love to see it. Who's <laughs> foo? Oh shit, no, this guy looks kind of chill. He does have needle arm though. Ah, but you're a bitch, get fucked. Okay, Dawn fan, okay. All right, it's just the stupid ass UFO left. What is this thing, flying an electric? How much does an ice shard do? Okay, not terrible. Uh, I'm just dead to Aeroblast though. My favorite part about this is that it has leftovers. All right, well, uh, Shaman, you got Hidden Power Ice. Surely this does a good amount of damage, right? Okay. <gasps> we dodged the Aeroblast! Hit him with the Hidden Power! Kill, 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 damn it. No! <laughs> I'm not even worried. Shaman, hit this man with the Hidden Power. Oh, huge! Fuck! Fuck! When in doubt, try, try again. <sighs> Just, I, I don't even know. 
You know what? Fine. Just, just kill me, man. I don't care anymore. That's why you're Maiko! Maiko! Hidden power! Uh, oh! Oh, it didn't recover! Wait, this is fine. This is fine. All right, Volcarona, you don't really have good moves on you, but like... Sure. Oh, I forgot about Stealth Rocks. All you can do is Flame Wheel. Uh-oh. Bro, why did I bring Volcarona? Why does this thing not even get good moves in the first place? Like, I got a modest Volcarona and it has like only physical moves. This thing is like fucking unkillable. All right, horse, I'm gonna need you to do something. Oh, the oh, yeah, I, I meant to do that. How much does a discharge do? Okay, well, that was a waste of fucking time. All right, you know what? Volt switch me all you want. I cast, kill yourself. Whoosh, beep, 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 beep. I should have just done that sooner. Hey, man, get it through your fucking head. I want nothing to do with you. Okay. Oh, wait, this gym's cool. <laughs> Thanks, Clyde. The puzzle in this gym is to avoid the wind because you really don't want to get blown. But luckily for me, I'm really good at that because I sit inside all day and play Pokemon. <sighs> what up, bitch? As I stated earlier, I'm starting to like triple battles, and this one is no different. However, this time, I've actually learned to put my spread move user in the middle. Donphan is going to get a cheeky ice shard off on the Gliscor, and by leading Donphan and Magnezone, I can just start ripping some discharges from my horse. Not only do I get a paralysis on the jump bluff, but I also get one on the Pidgeot. Jump bluff goes for a flying gem boosted hurricane on my Don fan, but lucky for me, he's tanky and eats that shit right up. And yeah, of course the Gliscor goes for an earthquake. Magnuson, you have been useless this entire playthrough. Another ice shard from Don fan is going to guarantee a kill on the Gliscor. The flame charge from my horse is going to take out the jump bluff. Okay, never mind. This is why I don't use Zebstrika, this modest dog shit. At least my Macargo is going to murder the Pidgeot with a power gem. Zebstrika, your failure to kill a jump off has caused my Donphan to die. I sucker punch the Aerodactyl because I don't think the Discharge will one-hit it, and that's exactly what I go for. However, I do got to accept the fact that I will paralyze my Macargo and maybe my Pseudo Wudo. However, I think the damage speaks for itself. When in doubt, hit him with a discharge. Damn it, this pussy has a barrier to weaken it. Oh well, Aerodactyl's dead. Ooh, and the paralysis on Togekiss. Okay, Zebra, maybe you're actually kind of sick. Oh, you can't move. Let me help you out. That was so heroic and brave of you, Pseudo Wudo. Thank you for dying for the cause. Don't put this up my ass, don't put this up my ass, don't put this up my ass, don't put this up my Oh, here we go. Whee! I beat you in a battle and you're rewarding me with a fetch quest. I see how it is. Yo, dumbass, we got places to be. Ah, uh -huh, shit, bro, we're going for a plane ride. Wait, so, um, where are we going? I hope we're going somewhere cool, at least. I don't want to go somewhere lame. Oh my god! Yeah, this is what I was afraid of. This place sucks. But a new town means new items and NPCs to talk to. Like, you never know what you're going to get from a random trainer. Like, like, why are you giving me Thunderbolt? This is just a random ass dude. Looking at the encounter table for Reversal Mountain, I decided there's two mons that I want to catch. First is this Trap Inch, because, you know, I thought Bug and Dragon is a very unique typing, and I want to try it out. I am going to miss the ground typing on this guy, because that's really good for stab moves, so I guess you could say I'm a slut for sand. I actually wasn't planning on getting a second Mon here, but I encountered this Gligar and I just couldn't resist. Uh, look at this guy, he's so goddamn silly. Welcome back to the squad, Mr. Silly. So I guess we head into the mountain now. What up, Bianca? You know what? I guess we can have a battle. Damn, you are way more intimidating than Steven. Okay, pause, time out. So when I was looking back on this footage, I, I don't know, I have no idea why, man, um, but I, I, it just caught my attention that uh, Zeb Straka just has like a fat ass, right? Like it's a detailed ass for this sprite. I went down this rabbit hole of like looking up, I'm like, do they just, 
are, do other Pokemon that are more like animals, like do they have defined asses? I was looking at like Girafferig. I'm looking up fucking Zebstrika sprites on Google Images. Like, look at this picture that I found. This is this is like a 1v1 of like a Zebstrika versus a Palpatone. Why is he posed like that, bro? Was Palpatone just like, mm, damn. Mm. What about this one that I found? Like, I probably should have put a warning label on this video for white women. I kind of understand what you guys are starting to see in horses. <laughs> why you got it? Why, why does Zebstrika have the defined ass? And why is it like always pointed directly at the camera? You know what I mean? So Bianca and I are traveling through this cave together and it's just beating up a bunch of random trainers as usual uh except bianca is just kind of gonna watch me beat up trainers for her she's not really gonna do much fighting i do end up finding a charcoal and the tm for flamethrower it doesn't take very long to get to the end of the cave where bianca and i part ways but we make it to undella town so it's a dub i scour the city and i find a tm for scald this town has an aquarium after a brief discussion with the ladies, Cynthia is kind enough to give me the HM for Waterfall. Now, there's kind of split paths that I can explore here. I can go to the south. I think I can go to the east. I don't know. I didn't even try. Uh, I'm going to go north. Uh, Steven, all right. I need to kick your ass again. All right, show me what you got. To be continued. Oh. Wobble de wobble de wop wobble wobble stack stack in my paper. My wallet look like a Bible. 